Welcome to Yogaya Evening Routine Release and Unwind. Start sitting. Fold your knees, bring your right foot to touch your left top of the foot. Begin by circumscribing your torso, circling it. from right to left. Exhale as you move back. Inhale, release your spine forward. Exhale, contract. Inhale, snake your shoulders to the right. Then take a twist to your right. Bend your right elbow, keep your left elbow straight. Start to deepen the twist and the forward bend. Go a little deeper. Keep your spine as long as possible. Lengthen on the inhale, twist on the exhale. Come back up. And take the circles the other way. Snaking your head and shoulders through to the left and then to the right. Bending the elbows creating a ripple through your spine, opening through the pelvic floor and creating space in the pelvis. Take the twist to your left. Keep your right elbow straight, the left elbow is bent. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Go a little deeper here if you wish. And a little deeper. Come back to the center. Walk your hands in front of you. Scoop the belly in. And then as you inhale, arch your spine, drop your elbows down. Scoop the belly, gaze at your navel. Drop the elbows down. Look up like a sphinx. Exhale, gaze at your navel, contract your spine. And with the next inhale, walk your fingertips forward as you slowly release your chest over your folded legs. Gently drop your third eye into the earth, taking the time to release the tension from the day. Walk the hands back. And then take your fingertips behind your pelvis, unwind your legs, lift your pelvis, shift your weight forward. As you gently direct your knees to the floor, open your chest, drop your head back, and then sitting on your sit bones, cave in, move your chin into your knees. We'll repeat it one more time. Fingertips pointing to the pelvis. Shift your knees forward. Open your chest. Stretching the wrists, the spine, the quads here. And then exhale. Drop the sit bones down. Hug your shins, interlacing opposite elbows. and give yourself a tight embrace here. Deepen the breath, draw the focus in, walk the hands behind you, and then as you shift your weight, walk the fingertips in front of you, slowly releasing the heels to the ground, massaging the calves. Inhale, knees back into the floor, and exhale. Drop a little deeper this time. Release your head down, gaze at your heels. Breathe normally here, evenly focusing on the inhales and exhales. And again, shift your weight forward. As you come through the metatarsals, press up. 
and bring your left elbow to your right knee. Take a clasp with your hands here and twist. As you keep your left knee bend, the shoulders are even. Switch, other side, take the other clasp. Right knee bend, left knee straight. Deepen and twist. Release from the twist. Place your hands in front of you. Walk your feet back into downward facing dog. Stretch your spine. As you shift your weight forward into plank, inhale. Exhale back into down dog. Soften the ribs and bend your right knee. Shift your weight. Keep your knee off the floor. Exhale, bend your left knee. Press up into down dog. One more time. Left knee bend, forward plank. Right knee bend, exhale into down dog. Lift your right leg up. Exhale the knee into the chest, shift into plank. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, place the right knee into the left knee crease. Twist and gaze at your right heel over your shoulder. Flamingo pose. Step the right foot down and stretch through your spine in cross-legged downward facing dog. Bring the knee back into the knee crease. Flex the right foot, arch your spine here. And thread the right leg the other way into a modified eagle. Bend your left knee a little bit and stretch your calf here. Drop the right knee to the floor, lift your left leg this time. Exhale, scoop the belly in, knee into the forehead. Inhale open and arch. Exhale, contract. Inhale, take your leg to the side. Drop the heel, flex the foot. Drop your right forearm down and take a twist here, stretching the adductors and opening through the mid back. As you bend your left knee, Bring your left hand to the inside of the left foot and open into a modified right angle pose, extending and elongating through the sides of the waist, fanning your fingers, feeling the energy move from the base to the crown. As you flex your left foot, Hold the right side of your waist with your left hand and come into gate pose, extending your right arm over the head. Go a little deeper if you wish and eventually clasp your metatarsal with your hand. Come back to the center. Bring your right hand into the floor, shoulder over the wrist. Hold your ear with your hand, twist and gaze back at your flexed foot. And then exhale the left leg forward, curl the back foot under, flex the front foot and bend the back knee, runner's stretch. Inhale, lunge, keep it flowing. Exhale, both knees are straight now. Square your hips. Release down. Inhale, drop your right knee to the floor. Press both hands into your left thigh and open your heart here. As you press the top of your palm into the left shin, gently twist to the right, extending your right arm into a side crescent. Come back to the center, hands gently into prayer, curl the back foot under, flex the front foot, square the hips again. As you transfer your weight forward, 
bend your back foot, a mini triangle here. Your left foot is flexed. Your left hand goes around your right scapula. As you bend your right elbow, try to clasp the fingers here and twist, taking the stretch into the deltoid. Hinge at the crease of your hip and gaze down at your flexed foot. Deepen the breath here. Go a little deeper. Come back to the center. Bend the front knee in a mini lunge and gaze back at your elbow. Soften through the front ribs. Exhale, release the bind. Bring your left hand to the floor. Prepare for a half moon pose. Your shoulder tracks over the wrist. Take a bind here in half moon pose to stretch the quads. The right hand clasps the right ankle. Try to direct your gaze upwards into the sky. Exhale, drop your hands down and your right foot. Flex your left foot. Gather your left knee into the chest. Place the left ankle into the right knee and take a twist to your right, stretching the hip flexor here. Go a little deeper and then walk your hands to your left, slowly straightening the right knee and bending over this modified ankle to knee pose to stretch the hamstring. Walk the hands further away from the center, stretch your right arm and gently drop both sit bones into the floor. As you press your right hand into your left sole, take a little twist, gazing over your right shoulder. Keep both legs folded. Thread your right arm through the loop. Press your left hand into the right and take a twist. Your left sit bone is off the floor. Twist a little bit more. Come back to the center. Placing the knees into a modified ankle to knee pose. The ankles are stretching wider apart. Fold over the center. Bring your knee in and then back through flying pigeon. And thread your left arm through pressing the right hand in front of you to stretch the hip. Curl your back foot under. Walk the hands forward. Find the center and release, bending your elbows and pointing the fingertips into your spine. With each inhale, release a little deeper. Exhale, go further into the stretch. Threading the right leg through and cross-legged down dog to stretch the IT band. Lift up and back and then shoot the right leg back and step it through your hands coming up into a modification of warrior one. Keep your front knee bend, interlace the fingers, then bring your fingers over your head with your pointer fingers pointing up. As you exhale, square your hips and come into a flat back. Shorten the stance if you need so you can square the hips deeper Place your left hand to your right pinky, your right hand into the sacrum, and start twisting from your middle back. Once you lengthen the lower back, extend your right arm up. 
twisted triangle. Release the right hand down. Bend your left knee, uncurl the back foot. Travel back with your hips. Flexing the front foot. Go a little deeper and then keeping the left knee folded in and bending the right knee. Thread your arms through. Extend the leg and bend the knee and gaze over your right shoulder, stretching the quads and the hip flexor simultaneously here. If you wish, extend the right leg up. Keep your spine erect. Exhale, release. Readjust your hips so you can bring your forearms to the floor. Arch your spine, drop your head, extend your right leg up. Go for a deeper hip stretch here as you fold your right knee, flex your right foot and place it on top of your left thigh. Press the right hand into the right sole and gaze back, twisting here. Gently tip to the right, release your left leg and come into bull's seat, stacking one knee on top of the other, trying to bring both sit bones into the floor. Bring the left elbow into the right elbow crease. Wrap your forearms and press the hands together. Gently look over your right shoulder. Then begin to forward bend diagonally. Keep your spine long. Shoulders away from the ears. Sit bones grounded. Then come through the center dropping the elbow bind further deeper into the floor. Breathe here. Come up, unwind your arms and your legs and gently transition through Siddhasana folded knee seated position and come into downward facing dog. Lift your left leg up. Exhale, bend the knee, shift forward. Let the knee hover over the ground. Inhale, lift up, exhale. Place your knee into the crease of the other knee, flex the foot into flamingo and gaze over the right shoulder. Drop the left foot down and press your spine up and back. Stretching the calf here and the IT band. Bring the left leg into the knee crease. Shift forward, arch your spine a little bit. And bring the knee over to the other side to wrap into eagle. Modified eagle here micro bend the standing foot drop the left knee and reach your right leg up contract scoop everything in inhale lift the leg up exhale forward into the knee inhale lift bring your right leg to the side drop your left Forearm, extend your right arm and flex your right foot. Twist here. Bring the right hand back down, bend your right knee and press your right hand to the inside of the right foot as you extend your left arm over the head into a modified right angle. Coming into gate pose, twist laterally here, bringing the left arm into a crescent and the right hand wrapping tightly around your chest, drawing the front ribs back. 
Go a little deeper. Undo the bind. Rest your left hand into the floor. Hold your left ear with your right hand and as you flex your right foot, gaze back. Exhale, bring your right foot forward. Curl the back foot under, lunge. And release into a runner's stretch. Try to square the hips here. Forward lunge, knee tracking over the ankle. Exhale, runner's stretch. The back knee is bent. Drop the left knee. Press your hands into the right thigh this time. Open your heart. And as you press the right hand to the inside of the right foot, crescent your left arm sideways and bring the hands into prayer at the center of your heart. Curl the back foot under. Flex the front foot. Readjust, shorten the stance into a modified triangle or T position. Come up, wrap your right hand around your left scapula, bend your left elbow. Take a clasp here with your fingers. Open the deltoid and side bend, gazing at your flexed foot. Transfer the weight forward into a mini lunge and a crescent with the elbows. Keep the bind, shift the weight, release the bind. Place your right hand in a diagonal to your right foot. Lift your left leg, flex the foot, bring the heel to the seat as you bind here in bound half moon pose. Press through your standing leg evenly. Release the bind. Transfer the weight onto your left leg. Grab your right foot and come into ankle to knee. Twist to the left. Walk your hands over to the right. Stretch your spine, start to lengthen through the legs and the spine and come into a forward bend. Walk the hands further away, reach your left arm up. You're still in ankle to knee position as you hug the right shin into your chest and twist to your left. Transfer your weight onto your left sit bone. Loop your hands through, come into Namaste Mudra and take a slight tilt with your torso, stretching the right glute here. Come back to the center. Take your right leg around through flying pigeon and then classical pigeon. As you press the left hand in front of you, sneak your right hand through and gently twist to your left. Center yourself into pigeon. Fold your left shin slightly further in. Point your fingertips back as you bend your elbows and take a few breaths here. Release, press the hands into the floor, curl the back foot under, thread your left leg through into cross-legged down dog to stretch the IT band. And shoot the left leg back Thread the left foot through and come into warrior one. Interlace your fingers, open your shoulders, arch.
square the hips as much as you can and as you reach your arms over the head with your pointer fingers clasped together come into a flat back square the hips drop your right hand into your left pinky your left hand into the sacrum start to twist here the shoulders are even Bend the front knee, bend the back knee, drop into the back knee, stretch your spine, and fold over your left leg. Go a little deeper. To transition, gently make room for your right sit bone. Bend your left knee, loop your hands through Flex the foot as you keep the knee bend and twist over your left shoulder. Extend the leg here if you wish, keeping the tight bind. Drop the foot down. Walk your forearms into the floor, arch your spine, drop your head and extend your left leg up as you flex the foot. Then folding the knee, bring the ankle into your right thigh, walk yourself up, press your left hand into your left foot and gaze over your right shoulder. To transition, tip to your left, bring your right shin under the left, and come into this modified ankle to knee. Fold over the legs. Drop a little deeper. As you inhale from your core, come into bull seat with an eagle bind with your arms. The right elbow is in the left elbow crease. Twist, gazing over the left shoulder this time. Bring your elbows to your knee. Lengthen your spine, drop the sit bones deeper. Twist and forward bend. Reclasp your hands, drop the elbows all the way down, and relax your head. Undo your arms, undo your legs. Come into Siddhasana. Hands into prayer, thread your legs through, and into a modified child's pose. Bring your third eye to the earth. Your hips are resting gently onto your heels. Your hands are firmly planted into the earth. Transition into a kneeling position. Clasp your hands behind you and open your chest. Drop the head back. Holding your lower back, take the counter pose and gaze at your navel as you contract. Inhale, reach your arms over the head. Tipping to the left, swing your legs forward in front of you into a stretch of the west here. Flex the right foot and the left, lengthening through the right and the left. Inhale, slowly begin to fold over the legs, interlacing the fingers if you wish, and going all the way down. Keep your spine as straight as possible. Bring your seat to your heels, slowly roll down. 
Wrap your right leg around the left into an eagle bind and stretch your left deltoid by clasping opposite elbows and twisting over to the right. Feel the oppositional pull from the knee joint through the elbow joint to the shoulder joint. Take supine bull seat here as you keep the knees stacked one on top of the other. Lift your head, contract. And release down. Undo the legs a little bit and come into a modified supine ankle to knee, rocking right and left. Bring the soles of your feet together into butterfly. Lift your head, shoulders down, away from the ears. Wrap your left leg around the right. Stretch your right deltoid by interlacing opposite elbows. Gaze over the left. Come back to the center, bull seat. Clasping the outer blades of the feet, flexing them and drawing the tailbone down. Lift your head again, direct it towards your knees, and undo the bind slightly as you work towards a supine ankle to knee to stretch the hips a little bit more. Flex both feet, bring the soles together, and recline in butterfly. Take a pharaoh's seal mudra placing the left arm on top of the right, bringing the focus in. Relaxing your hips, which tend to hold the tension of the day. Slowly amplify the space in your hip flexors. Notice the space and the fluid in your abdomen. Bring your awareness to that space, the space of the fertile void. Then relax your lower back, lengthen it, and release it further into the earth. Eliminating all tension and going deeper into a state of relaxed bliss. Open the inner thighs open into wholeness. Relax every part of the body, releasing all the tension that has built for the past day. Reflect on the lessons you have learned today. Making a conscious intention for tomorrow Appreciate this moment of fullness. Deepen your breath even more. Connect to your inner self winding down and de-stressing. And releasing into a sweet and nourishing night.
come back to your body. Feel the power of the Pharaoh seal, the innate integrity that is part of your being. Taking the hands around your face and through the crown of the head, exhale all the tension away from your body, flexing your feet, crossing at the ankle joints, coming into a stable cross-legged seat and reaching your arms over the head. Exhale, bring the thumbs together. Create a delta with your hands and bring it into the seat of your soul. A seat of calmness and serenity.